Hi everybody, this is Mrs. King. The point of today's video is to show you how to get to your extensions, how to remove extensions, and also how to take a screenshot and add that into our Google Classroom. The point of this is um, there are a lot of tech issues and they are all stemming from extensions that students and also teachers have installed on their computers. So I have been told that we need to remove any extension that is not being used in school, okay? The first place that you need to go to is this gray puzzle piece. This is how you get to your extensions. You click on that, and then you're gonna go down to manage extensions. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna show you all the extensions that you have on your Chrome account. Anything not related to school should be removed. Games should be removed any um, custom cursors that you have should be removed. Anything not school related needs to be removed, okay? You're gonna see under each extension that there is a remove button. So that's what you would click on to remove it. If it does not have remove, for example, Cisco Umbrella Chromebook and Clever, these were added by the school district, so they need to stay. So that's why there is no remove button there. Okay, I've had a lot of questions about cite this for me. Keep that. Grammarly is fine. Keep that. If you have any calculators, that should be fine. If you have any questions, I'm going to have a place in class for you and I will answer if you can keep it or not. But right now you need to go through all your extensions, remove any that you have that should not be there. Then I need you to take a screenshot. Okay, the screenshot is control plus. Um, I believe it's called window view. If you look over here, this is what it looks like. It should be above your number six on your keyboard. So you're gonna do control plus that button and it's gonna give you a screenshot on your computer. If you have a lot of extensions like I do, I want you to kind of scroll down and then just do the next line for your screenshot. Okay, the next step is adding this into our Google Classroom. So for my purposes, I'm a teacher, so I don't have the same view in Google Classroom that you do. So I'm just using this assignment for just so you can kind of see how it works. So you're going to be in the Chrome cleanup assignment and you're going to click add or create. Then you're going to go to file. Then you're going to go to browse once it loads. So you're looking for the screenshots that you just took. If you took one, you're just looking for one. If you took more than one, you should be able to click them. So here's a screenshot and then you just need to look at the date and the time. So this is the one that I just did. If you do control and click on the second one, you can add them at the same time. See how I have both selected and I'm going to click open. Once you click open, it's gonna add it into Google Classroom. And then all you need to do is click turn in. Okay? I will be available for questions in a few minutes. If you're done with all this, work on your typing lessons. Okay? Bye guys.